All right, checking out my screen here, this is showing the massive storm that came through on Easter, and it was quite the severe weather day. There was hail, extreme winds, even a few tornadoes that tore through Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia yesterday, and then throughout last night. Well, as it turns out, some of the action is actually gonna be continuing throughout the day today, so that's what we're gonna be talking about. Before we get started, I will say I make these forecast videos every single morning, so if you're somebody who enjoys following the weather, then you could subscribe to my channel. All right, looking at my screen here, this is showing about 1 a.m. this morning, and you can see this storm is really hitting full force at this time. You're getting a lot of snow up in the upper Midwest, and then this band of extreme rainfall, severe thunderstorms, even a few tornadoes. This is where all the real action was last night. There was, I think, four major tornadoes that tore through the southeast, and it's actually gonna be continuing throughout this morning and into this afternoon. So this is moving into about 7 a.m. You might have been waking up to some severe thunderstorms basically stretching from the northeast all the way down to Florida. Meanwhile, northern parts of Wisconsin and Michigan picking up a lot of snow. They're actually gonna get some pretty good snowfall numbers with this one. But again, the real action was in the southeast to mid-Atlantic where some severe thunderstorms are bringing hail, extreme winds, and even a tornado threat throughout the day today. So if we go down to the southeast, we can take a closer look at this one. And later in the video, we will be looking at the northeast as well because they're getting the tail end of this system. This is who this storm will be hitting last. So looking at the southeast though, this is about 1 a.m. You can see that just huge band of extreme heavy rainfall, severe thunderstorms, and this caused some pretty extreme damage in the southeast. The air is really warm down there, really moist. So there's a lot of just energy and really water in the atmosphere that can just get unleashed over the southeast. And you probably woke up to some of that if you're living in the eastern sides of Georgia or South Carolina. Probably woke up to some pretty severe thunderstorms. Hopefully you had the car parked in the garage because there's probably some multiple inch in diameter hail associated with this extremely strong band of severe thunderstorms. The good news is by about 1 p.m., that's gonna be moving off. So you're not gonna have to worry about this one anymore. And actually clicking through the next couple of days, it looks like you're pretty much in the clear until about Wednesday when you get a few, few thunderstorms in Florida, but really not much throughout this entire week from Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina. So hopefully you'll be able to start to recover some of the damage caused by the tornadoes that moved through last night. One other thing of note in the southeast is Florida is going to be extremely warm today, possibly breaking some record high temperatures where you can see Palm Bay about 95 degrees and you can actually see this cold front going through the southeast and then the area where the cold front hasn't hit yet. So it's still extremely warm and yeah, Florida, Record heat today, about 95 degrees. Gonna be extremely warm down there. And then again, just to reiterate, not all that much severe weather for the rest of the week in the Southeast. So that is the good news. That's the silver lining. If there's tornado damage in the area where you live, you'll have a few days to kinda hopefully get things back together. So this is now moving up to the Midwest. This was 1 a.m. last night, you can see Basically all of Wisconsin getting some pretty pretty good snow with this one, but then the upper parts of Michigan, that's where we got the really heavy snowfall rates. You can see that's coming down at about 0.2 inches per hour. So you'll look at the accumulations in a second. They, they picked up some good snow with this one. And then on the east side of the system, that's where we see the severe thunderstorms and some of the heavy winds that caused some damage as well. You can see upper parts of Michigan still getting snow by the time you're waking up this morning, 7 a.m., still getting some pretty good snow as that low moves off into Canada. The interesting thing this low does, I was hoping it would just move straight through, straight to the northeast, bring down some cold air, maybe get one last good snowstorm for the northeast. But as it turns out, it moves right up into Canada. So the northeast is gonna be on the area of the storm where it's more warm air moving in, so then that's gonna to lead to more rain and severe thunderstorms. 
You can see Michigan's still getting a little taste of snow moving into about 7 p.m. tonight. And then that's basically gone throughout the night and by the time you're waking up tomorrow. But there's two things I really want you to notice on this map. One, this cold air that moves down into the Midwest. And then two, some of these extreme winds that you see coming around here. That's like 30 to 40 mile per hour gusts. That can cause some damage. And especially when it's coupled with the Great Lakes here, it can lead to some lake effect snow, especially in the downwind areas of the lakes. What it does, pushes in a bunch of moist air, and then that moist air rises up, creates clouds, falls down as precipitation, and then when, it's, when you team it up with some of this cold air, that's when you can get the precipitation in the form of snow. Hopefully that wasn't too worry. Basically, winds over a lake with cold air makes snow. And you can see that cold air move through the Midwest throughout the day, really all day today. That cold air is just gonna continue to creep farther and farther south. And yeah, northern parts of Michigan, northern parts of Wisconsin, that's where we're gonna be seeing the best snow accumulations with this one because you can see it gets really cold. That's about 21 degrees, 25 degrees in Marquette. Man, makes me glad I live in California. The one other thing to note, some of these extreme winds, especially moving into upper parts of Michigan, that's where we're getting some of the really strong lake effect. So looking at total accumulated snowfall with this one, upper parts of Michigan, that's about a foot and a half to two feet of snow associated with this storm. So that's a, that's a pretty major winter storm that's coming in mid-April. That's Can't complain there. That's some good snow this late in the season. And then Wisconsin, basically the entire upper half of Wisconsin is getting some good snow with this one too. Maybe six to 10 inches throughout most of the, most of the state. While there is this one strip right here that gets over a foot of snow. So decent snowstorm for Wisconsin as well. And then you can see the tail end of that higher accumulation builds into Minnesota as well, where parts of southeastern Minnesota could be getting nine inches to maybe a foot of snow as well. So, and that's a pretty good winter storm, especially this late in the season. Hopefully it's not the last one. I love reporting on the winter storm, so hopefully we get one more good one, but I was clicking through the next week and it doesn't really look like there's that much going on. There might be one major storm coming in next Sunday that could move right up the east coast. And as of right now, that's showing some snow for the northeast, but I do not trust models that far out, so we'll see what actually happens with that one. As it turns out right now though, it's showing it could be a major, major storm. So moving into the northeast, this is what started to move through last night. You can see lighter rainfall moving in through Pennsylvania and southern New York at about 1 a.m. this morning. And then some of those heavy rainfall rates and severe thunderstorms, that's what's gonna be affecting the northeast throughout the day today. This is about 7 a.m. You might have been waking up in New Jersey, eastern Pennsylvania, southern New York, to some pretty heavy rainfall, maybe even some hail in some places. And then that's really gonna affect the northeast throughout the day today. This is now showing 1 p.m. You can see that heavy rain, severe thunderstorms, has really spread out for most of the northeast at this point. You're getting it in New York, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, probably some isolated spots in Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, basically, Basically everyone in New England gonna be getting some heavy rain throughout the day today. But again, that low moves up into Canada, so you stay on the warm side of this storm. That's why you're not getting those amazing snowfall numbers that Michigan and Wisconsin were getting. You're more getting some extreme rain. And you, we, you will get some heavy winds as well, and I'll show that in a second. So this is now moving into about 7 p.m. tonight. You can see Heavy rain still for Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and then by about 1 a.m. tomorrow morning, it's finally gone. And then let's just click through just for just just to see this system that could be coming in next Sunday. I mean, I don't really trust models this far out, but you can see as of right now, they're predicting a massive, massive storm. 966 millibars is about as low as you're ever gonna see. So we'll keep, we'll keep our eye on that one. That, that could be an interesting one to follow. 
But again, a mm, little far out in the forecast to really trust it at this point. So the two things I want you to notice on this map showing the northeast, that low, you can see it up up in Canada at this point, it's just going to move out of the screen, go straight north instead of coming into the northeast. And because of that, you can see the temperatures show you're on the warm side of the system. You're in the mid to high 50s in New York, maybe even 60s in some places. So definitely not getting any snow with this one. You're going to get some extreme winds though. That is some maybe 30 to 40 mile per hour gusts really just pulling into this low. So if you live in the Northeast, the big story you're going to be working with throughout the day today is heavy, heavy winds or extreme winds, maybe some hail and probably some heavy rainfall as well. I think there's a few flash flood warnings in select locations. So something to watch out for. And if you want to stay updated with that storm, that's going to be coming in or could be coming in this next Sunday, you can subscribe to my channel. I do forecast videos every single morning. So I'm going to be following that one closely as, as we get closer to the actual date, the forecast models will get a lot better. So it'll be fun to watch that one. I, I don't know what's going to happen with it, but I'm hoping we could get one last major winter storm. Thanks for watching.